Hey guys, got a quick tutorial for you real quick. This is only suitable for beginners, but this is how you use loop cuts. So with your object selected in edit mode, you can press Control R. And what that will do is it'll create an edge loop around your faces. And you can scroll up and down with your mouse wheel and that will increase. Scrolling up will increase. Scrolling down will decrease the number of segments. So once you have the desired number, you can hit left click and then you can slide them up and down. Now, when you're in this mode, if you left click again, it will, you know, solidify your edit. Let me undo that real quick and let's control R one more time. You can scroll up and down and you can right click if you want to place it perfectly in the center. And that will create you some loop cuts. You can do this vertically, horizontally. It works on spheres, triangles, it works on almost everything as long as you have edge loops. And if we want to use the offset edge loop, what we can do is with two, we can go ahead and select our edges by alt selecting the loop. And then you can go over to your tool, select it and drag out. What this will do is it will create two edges along the outside. Now you'll get this little drop down box at the bottom and you can even increase and decrease the factor. But if you hit even, it will make sure to do them evenly between their points. And then cap endpoint will make sure that it's capped. Yeah, that's some really way to do it. The, I don't really use offset edge slide very much. What I'll do is I'll select my loop and I can just press control B and bevel it. I found that to work way better than going over here and selecting the tool individually. I just use control R for everything. And you can grab, select, increase, decrease, stuff like that. But yeah, that's how you can use edge loops in Blender and create them using the shortcut control R. Hopefully that helped you and see you in the next one.